Good morning, Brother Anthony, and Mark, and Vinny, and uh, Karen, Sharon, and uh, who else? Let's see, Cynthia. Okay. Terrible with names. Faces, got it down. Names, not too good with it. But as Mark keeps working on me, I'm trying to get the names better. Okay, another day to serve the Lord. Um, Sometimes I, I find myself as the Lord keeps having to lift me up because sometimes the world just keeps dragging me down. I just look around and go, you know what? Not a lot of people out here uh, that are trying to serve the Lord. Oh, a lot of people serving, you know, the churches are all doing this and that and this and that. But I think the Lord has other things for us to do too. Anyway, um, let me do some words of encouragement today, because it's really all about Jesus anyway. And uh, here's the words for today. The words say this, as you turn your attention to me, feel the light of my presence shining upon you. Open your mind and heart to receive my heavenly smile of approval. Let my gold-tinged love wash over you and soak into the depths of your being. As you are increasingly filled with my being, you, in, you experience joyous union with me. I am in you and you in me. Your joy in me and my joy in you become intertwined and inseparable. I suffuse your soul with joy in my presence. At my right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And Bible support for these words come from Numbers 6, verse 26, John 17, verses 20 through 23, and Psalm 16, verse 11. Let me read those since this was a short one today. So, And here's Numbers 6, verse 26. The Lord lifts up his approving countenance upon you and give you peace, tranquility of heart and life continually. And from John 17, verse 20 and 23, my prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, and all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I in you, May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me. May they be brought, brought to complete unity to let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. And that was from John 17, verse 20 to 23. From Psalm 16, verse 11. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Praise, praise God and thank you, Jesus. Great words, brothers and sisters. Okay. Go out there today and let them see the Lord shining right through you. And uh, you will have done a good deed and good work for the Lord today by doing that. Have a great day. Peace, brothers and sisters. Bye-bye now.